we have been looking at uh, adverse events uh, for all the vaccines uh, that we've been administering. And at this point in time, we've not picked up any signal that suggests there's a higher uh, overall adverse event rate uh, associated with the Moderna vaccines compared to the Pfizer vaccine. So effectively, uh, they're both uh, the same as far as uh, efficacy is concerned, as well as the uh, adverse effect or side effect profile. Uh, and we have um, uh, therefore been encouraging all to get vaccinated with whatever vaccine is available. Uh, given that our vaccines were coming in, in different batches at different points in time, and our message has always been that uh, whatever vaccine that is available, please feel free to register and, and uh, take up these vaccines. Uh, neither vaccine is necessarily better than the other. There are specific uh, indications and contraindications that are different. Uh, for example, the Pfizer vaccine has been approved for use uh, in, uh, in uh, younger, uh, in children uh, between the ages of 12 and, and, uh, and 18. So other than these um, regulatory uh, restrictions, um, there is uh, no um, significant difference between the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. And whatever vaccine is available, I would encourage uh, all who are, who are able to register then to register for either vaccine.